All right, friends, what's going on? Zach Evanesh here. I'm with the Ultimate Bro Squad, Paul <laughs> Colodi, my boy, and Tony Villani. And we have organized a game speed and sports performance seminar that we're going to be doing together October 15th. It's going to be at Paul's High School, uh, Hundred and Central Regional High School. Going to be a one-day event where the three of us are teaching together, hands-on, practical, and uh, Q&A is just going to be like an immersion of game speed and sports performance training. So we're going to, we've been chatting for like an hour. So we're going to break down um, what we're going to be presenting. And I think we're also going to be fluid during the um, seminar, meaning if you have questions, we're going to kind of roll into that topic versus being, this is what we're talking about. And just Super excited to do this. Paul and I have worked together before. I've podcasted with Tony and uh, going to be, you know, I'm, I'm going to be front and center learning. So, um, Paul, you want to kick it off and, and talk a little bit about what you're teaching and then um, Tony will discuss as well. And then I'll, and then I'll talk about what I've got going on when we're there. Absolutely. So I'm going to start with uh, warm up, movement prep, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Tony talks about a lot of different ways to create game speed with angles and edges. I wanna make sure our athletes can physically get in those positions. So we're gonna create the mobility so that they can internally, externally rotate their hips. So they can lower their hips when they try to break plant, things like that. So when they're when they gonna perform these movements at speed, they can physically do it. So the warm up should get them ready for that, not just change tissue temperature. I'm not all about this. We wanna create stiffness, we wanna create uh, activation front and back side and create balance. And we also got to have mobility through all the joints, foot, ankle, all the way up the line so that when they do hit the ground, they do exactly what they need to do. So we'll talk about that. Then I'll get into RSI. Feet on and off the ground are going to be really important when we talk about what we need to do on the field or on the court. We're going to talk about how we can get that RSI up. When our foot hits the ground, we take that energy and create it back as fast as we can. So that's going to be my portion. Tony, what do you got, big dog? I am going to try as, as quick as possible to show how you can get effective speed gains and get it done fast. So then you can move on to game speed and agility. Because one thing I have found when I talk to coaches is the agility portion of our game speed program is hard for our pro athletes, college athletes, and even high school athletes to learn because they've never been taught to, quote, unquote, slow down to speed up. And it's such a different way of thinking, but many of the pros that have played for years know it. And now data is coming out on CPS data and how you time it of you do have to slow down to speed up out of breaks. And that's what I really want to go over. And there's so many different angles to hit and so many different ways to get ahead of someone on the field, create space or close space that first part I'm going to touch on. Let's make speed simple. And then I'm going to present a little bit and show how some of the best athletes change directions different ways to win at that point of attack at that given time. And then I want to get on a field or space and show you an abundance of drills to do to create our closed separation. And there's never one drill. Like we try to pick one angle and have come up with six or eight different drills to run at that angle. Because the whole goal with any athlete is just to teach them to win at the time that they have to win. And that's what my game speed and agility stuff is going to be about. Love it. So. What I've been uh, discussing with you guys that I'm excited to share that I think is like contrary to what we see on the internet is simplifying strength training that is specific for sports performance. So there's getting strong and sometimes getting stronger and adding more weight to the bar or doing more reps in calisthenics does not lead to improved sports performance. So we're going to talk and I'm going to have um, hands-on practical portions where we look at uh, simplifying strength, it may not be flashy, and choosing the appropriate strength training movements according to the athlete that you're working with. So we'll do some hands-on assessments. If this person, for example, squat, uh, the ankles and knees, like for example, Paul's talking about doing stuff during the warm-up to build athleticism, to build that uh, <clears throat> ability to be an athlete, <clears throat> my segment will how do we integrate that into appropriate strength training? And the reason why that's important to me is we we're discussing some of the overabundance of injuries we're seeing from the weight room, from incorrect training, 
from a lack of knowledge. And so I want to simplify that so that if you are in the weight room or maybe you're a parent trying to help your son or daughter, you can assess and choose the right exercises. And then to tie it all together, I want to do kind of like a big picture. What does a annual <clears throat> training plan look like versus we go hard all year long? So what does the preseason look like? What does it look like two weeks before the season? How does it work when the season starts and I'm uh, working or kind of dancing with the sport coach who's maybe killing them in the beginning? How does that adjust my training? Then the competition time, then looking at the uh, postseason to recover with injuries. So I want uh, the coaches and parents who come to learn to be able to say, okay, I learned these pieces of the puzzle from Tony and Paul and Zach. I want to kind of show them how to put the puzzle together. So I'm super excited. I feel like this is the ultimate meeting of the minds. <laughs> it's so funny. Just to harp on what you're presenting is so important. <clears throat> Keo Spikes, who's a stud, told me like 15 years ago, like, Tony, don't get me ready for training camp. He's like, get me ready to be ready for training camp, and I'll get myself ready for the season. Yeah. And it was funny. Like, he did not want to feel the best of his life when he left me. Yeah. And it's funny because that's what you're going to present on. That's pretty cool. It's, yeah. I had that discussion with <clears throat> athletes. Like, this week, our football team is off from football. And I said, you know what I'd like this week, guys, is – Maybe you gain two pounds and you get catch up on sleep, eat a little bit more. I go, I don't need us to be at our best the first game. I go, we need to be at our best in Thanksgiving and hopefully the playoffs. And so I want to tie this together. And uh, also, you know, looking at athletes, we're seeing athletes who are struggling to move like athletes because they may have had incorrect training or no training leading up. For example, football linemen who can't do a squat. Well, hmm. why, what will we do instead of a back squat or front squat for them? Do I have to even use the barbell to get this lineman strong? Because mate, what if he could lift more in the weight room, but he doesn't perform on the field? That's the stuff I want to tackle. That to me is like intriguing and exciting. And of course, I'm going to be learning from you guys. I'm going to be training with you guys. I'm going to go hands-on and hopefully I survive so I can present. <laughs> it's going to be great. So um, for everybody listening, again, it's going to be uh, October 15th. That is a Saturday. We're going to be at 100 and Central Regional High School, which is Paul's High School, which is a beautiful weight room. Uh, Paul posts his videos on um, Instagram and Twitter. You've got turf. It's fully outfitted through uh, Perform Better. So there's a lot of room for training, for sprinting, for moving. And um, Tony's probably going to take us outside. And if it's raining, we've got gyms inside. The school is immaculate. Like when I walked through the gym, I was like, oh, I could eat off of this floor. It's super <laughs> clean. So uh, wow. we're going to be very hands on. And this is going to be for coaches. I would love to see administrators. Paul and I have consulted with some uh, athletic directors and superintendents who are trying to get qualified uh, strength coaches in the high school. So, Tony, who would you, you know, uh, recommend this for anybody else? I know you guys did a seminar recently, but it may have been uh, in, uh, you were in Florida at uh, yeah, Florida. Atlanta. We had a lot of, we had a lot of high school strength and conditioning coaches, um, but it's really for parents. It's really for any athlete that's trying to learn about themselves and how to get better. Because like any serious athlete, private gym owner or parent will be able to pick up tons of stuff that will be useful. Um, and I'm not trying to, it's not a helicopter dad who comes and spends a day to learn about simple things that his kid can do to get better. Cause we're not talking about stuff complicated. Everybody thinks we're going to talk about complicated stuff. Simple. We're going to try to hammer home. This is the basic stuff that you've probably heard of. And this is how to do it. It works. It's a foolproof plan. So I Brilliance. think parents, kids. Yep. Brilliance with the basics. And also you're going to bring up a shred mill and go over that, which I'm super intrigued about. Yep, definitely. And go over that. We'll stay at Paul's school so people can try it out. And uh, we'll be up there and it'll be fun. We'll show you like speed training is it's easy. And if you do it with legs, you get fast, super fast. You can focus on like other stuff like y'all are going to present on. Game speed and performance. 
this is going to be huge for a lot of coaches. I say this all the time. We're not talking about different things, just doing things a little bit differently. And that's what we're going to try and make them understand. It's not, it's not going to be rocket science. It's just going to be taking what they're doing and making and making a shift just a little bit to do it a little differently. And it's going to blow, I'm telling you, it's going to blow your mind when you start doing this stuff with your kids. And um, I, I can't wait for the 15th. I'm excited. So guys, there will be a registration button somewhere under this video and it will be October 15th. We're not sure how many people we can um, get in there, but uh, Paul's got a pretty big school. There's going to be a discounted registration through August and then it goes up a little bit in September and then up a little bit again in October. So get in it and uh, I'm going to get my coaches there as well because I want us all on the same page. And to me as a coach, you know, with a team at the private facility, I want us to get better. And I, it's like, I want us to be immersed in the cutting edge work. So I'm pumped up to uh, be with you guys. So that's all we got for you guys. And uh, we will see everybody October 15th. Tony Villani is invading New Jersey. It's on baby. <laughs> I, Game I got the right, I got the right, the right last name for it. Villani. It'll be good. Okay. You're going to fit right in big dog. All right, guys, all right. we will talk to you soon and we will see you